from Gottlieb Pinball. Oh, we got this man working on a space shuttle. Well, was it dirty? <laughs> this was pretty bad. Uh, I took an earlier video that you'll see later when we do the completed video about the crud level that was on this machine. It was unbelievable. But once the TNT people finish with it, it's going to look like this, baby. Look at what my Jason did with this. Actually, we need some help. Hey, uh, Jonathan? Jonathan! Listen. God, look at this stuff. We're, we're jammed with stuff. Ah, a record playing on the record player. Uh, victory. Disco fever. A, another white water. Look, a Hollywood heat. I need somebody to work the camera. Where the hell's Frank? Try not to paint them. Try not to paint them if you can. No, try not to paint them if you can. <sighs> we only paint the inside. The outside of the chrome legs are scrubbed, aren't they, gentlemen? Sure. Yes, they have to be perfect. Uh, can you take this camera and follow me back? Oh my gosh. Uh, can you get that yes, phone? Pam? And I'm not available until we finish this video. Yeah. Look, this is a first. Now you've been watching. We have a lot of Super Mario Brothers out there, a lot of them. However, this is the first one that my man has done Super Bros. Can you see? It's probably hard to see. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> now we're ready. Ah, super bright. Actually, actually, <laughs> everybody's waiting for that glass to sign off. Super bright. Did you see that? Look at these. These are super bright LEDs and flash lamps on the circuit. And it is a beauty. Now I can take them off. We have high voltage capacitors replaced here we have the lithium battery that's in the socket now so our customer overseas can easily change it yes this machine is going to the Netherlands beautiful game and of course we've gone over and cleaned all the boards and they are all running beautifully uh, anyway this game is overseas. Oh, let me get that. Let me get that. Hey, Todd, it's Frank. Frank! Haha, <laughs> we were wondering. Where are you? I need you to help us with this jukebox delivery. I couldn't be able to help you with that jukebox delivery today. We're still in the hospital. Well, I, I really need you. I was counting on this. Well, if you let me go early enough in the day, I mean, nope. they can try to come in for a couple of hours. Okay, I'll do my best. Okay, well, figure something out. All right, bye bye. That lazy lout. When is he coming back? <sighs> anyway, we have converted it to 220 volts. Here's the conversion unit. So basically, we have this plugged into 110. This converts the power to 220, which is going into the machine. And then the machine, of course, is converting it to the right voltages to run the game. So all our customer has to do is put his plug on the end of the cord, and he is playing. Uh, let's see, did we already talk about the uh, little men, the, all the little characters? This was sent to us as a restoration, uh, but uh, we've, we've done a pretty thorough job on this with all the extra LEDs that have been lit. We've lit the castle, as you can see, and... We also have extra super bright lighting here and on the, on the uh, bottom part here. Beautiful job, courtesy of our Jason. Right, Jason? Sure. Yes. And uh, this is actually going out. Oh, did we already show the cabinet? I, mean, I think so. I'll do it again. Because Steve does such a good job. Steven, do you do such a good job? I try. 
guy. You, I know you didn't see this side because I was not in the way. He's done some touch-ups. We have the three color strips here. Actually, this was this came in this way, right, guys? Yeah. This came in. This was actually sent in by the customer with the three different color strips. We had them off earlier today to uh, do the final touch-up. We still have to go over this one last time before it's packed up. You see, it's going out with this game right here. Extremely rare Starlight. Starlight, only 100 made. I saw one of these at the Pinball Expo. We're working on that video. You're going to see beautiful uh, Starlight there. That was LED, but our customer in the Netherlands, although that one is fully LED, he'd like, he says, I want this all original. So we have all new 44s in it. We got these new rollovers to go in at the top. All the posts had to be changed. We also have, we always change these, all brand new ones. Steve Young sells these. I also got clear ones to do later. An interesting idea, the one in the expo had clear centers and then they had LEDs and each one had a different color. But this will have the original red ones all lit by 44s. You will see this video soon too because it's going out with stupid Mario, Super Mario Brothers. Anyway, come on, let's go back and we'll finish up. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. Now this game had one really neat feature. Uh, it was the first Dot Matrix game that Gottlieb released. That's in the beginning where everybody was trying to get their, Gottlieb, their games out first. Uh, Bally's first Gottlieb, er, Dot Matrix game was Gilligan's Island, and Checkpoint was the first one out, and that Checkpoint came from Dot East. That was the new thing. Of course, now it's color displays. But uh, the Dot Matrix was really nice. You just could draw all these different pictures. Also, this game had one other neat feature. See how bright that flashlight is. Isn't that nice? It's also flashing underneath here. It's got super bright under there, too. I guess you saw that, too. Right back there. Isn't that nice? Anyway, uh, you were allowed for 30 days to return this game if you weren't happy with the income it was making. And the local distributor here in Philly, I believe, only got a couple back. Uh, everybody was very satisfied with the money this month. It was priced right, you know, the regular price of the uh, alphanumerical games. I like this feature here with our target in the center to keep you safe. That gate, that, that safe your ball one time. Very nice. Anyway, oh, did we cover everything? No, we didn't. We didn't cover everything. You can watch all the other videos to see what we may have missed. Anyway, I think this one's ready, other than a quick uh, check out, a quick wait down. Who is going to pack this up? Got it. Crickets. Crickets. Well. I guess the only thing I can say is keep watching because there's more coming. Good night. You don't have to go home, but you can.